kids. I wanted to read you a book today about the rainforest. It's called Scholastic First Discovery, The Rainforest. Think about the animals that you might see in this book. What kinds of animals have you learned about that live in the rainforest? Let's see if we can find some of those animals in the book. If you flew over the world's largest rainforest, you would see an endless canopy of tall green trees. This steamy forest is called the Amazon. It covers one third of South America. The muddy Amazon rainforest river winds through the warm rainy forest for 4,000 miles. So this is the river that runs through the forest. Deep in the rainforest, tropical plants grow close together so close that you might need a machete to cut through a path through them. Many animals live in the rainforest. How many can you find in this picture? What do you see? Can you find a bird? Can you find a parrot? Can you find a frog? Can you find a lizard? What else do you see? Maybe a monkey? Amazing plants also grow in the rainforest. Water lilies float on the water. They could be as big as a rug. Some plants provide fruits, nuts, and ingredients for many of our medicines. Air plants grow on branches. They do not need soil. Some flowers grow on tree trunks, and others bloom at the ends of long hanging stems. Very tall trees grow, grow side supports called buttresses, which help to, them to stand up. Monkeys also live in the rainforest. They climb and swing from tree to tree. Some monkeys, like this one, are very small. Others, like the noisy howler monkey, are big. Fabulous birds live in the rainforest. The smallest of all is the hummingbird. It drinks nectar from brightly colored flowers. It uses its long beak and tongue to reach the nectar. All kinds of parakeets live in the rainforest. We have a, a slaty-headed parakeet, a sun parakeet, an Amazon parakeet with cheeks, a monk parakeet, a Amazon parakeet with a yellow forehead, a yellow-fronted parakeet, and a Lucian parakeet. Wow, that's a lot. This large bird is called a toucan. It rhymes with you can. It has a big, colorful bill, and there are different kinds of toucans. This is a keel toucan. There's also a toku toucan, a red-topped toucan, and a kari toucan. These capuchin monkeys sense that danger is nearby. What could it be? Do you see anything hiding in the trees? Look closely. It's a jaguar on the hunt. The taper does not does not hear the jaguar coming and it may become a meal for this big cat. So this is called a taper. These rainforest animals are as brightly colored as a rainbow. There's a red ibis, a red vacari, and a poison frog, and a coral serpent, and a morpho butterfly, and a tanager, and these are called macaws. Can you find three hidden insects? Camouflaged animals have colors and shapes that help them hide from animals that feed on them. Can you see anything in this picture? Let's see if we can find them on the next page. Camouflaged animals have colors and shapes that help them hide from animals that feed on them. Like these two grasshoppers that look like leaves and the brown moth that looks like a dead leaf. The Amazon rainforest, home to so many beautiful animals and valuable plants. It's being attacked by an enemy. Who is it? It's people. People have cut down the trees for lumber or burned acres of rainforest for farmland. 
Thankfully, other people are working hard to find ways of harvesting the Amazon's natural resources without destroying it. That's the end of that story about the rainforest. Rainforests are an amazing place where lots of animals live and cool plants, so we really want to work hard to protect our rainforests. Today we're going to make a really fun project. It's a parrot. What do you think? Isn't it so cute? Here's what you need to make your parrot. You should have two paper plates in your bag. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to fold them in half. Glue or tape or staple them together so they'll stay together. You also have an eye, a little googly eye to glue on, and you should have some of this fun stuff to use for the tail. So take your plates and attach them so that one is the head and one is the body. And then use your paints or markers or crayons to color and decorate them. Add your eye and then you can cut this to use around the neck and also use for the tail, like this one. Don't forget to make a beak, add your eye, draw a wing, and use some bright colors because parrots love bright colors. And then add your feathers on the tail and wherever else you want to. I like putting it on the neck because it kind of hides the two plates, how they're stuck together. But you can put them wherever you want. Have fun and make a really colorful, cute parrot that you can play with. Bye for now.